Hello everyone and welcome to this Pride of Longbridge vlog. If you're not subscribed already, please remember to do so. I've met so many great people here, but we need to obviously do the whole trip here. So we got the car um, sorted out to a degree and we are here now at Pride of Longbridge. So I'm going to give you a bit of a tour around. It's not going to be too amazingly well produced. It's going to be a bit of a vlog. So join me. I'll give you the full experience. Let's go. The Paul Prep, I've got my wheels on looking nice of course she still needs finishing off because i decided you know what i'm not going to miss this so i've just taken her as is for now and then i'm going to be taking her back but yeah you'll join us obviously on the journey but see she's looking pretty nice so i'll see you in a bit so here we are paul bound in the services look at the wheels look at the rest of it it looks all right doesn't it not the best but there we go wow look at that Katie's hungry, naturally, like everybody would be, because you're a human. But here we are. We have made it. The what? Yeah, the wheels are friggin' amazing. What a beast. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep on trucking and you'll see us in a bit. Absolute robbery, but I'm doing it. Disgusting. Hello everybody, it is dark, it's currently um, 20 past 11. We are stuck in traffic outside Birmingham on the M42. So, just a bit of a sit rep really. As usual, something has happened on this car journey. So, the um, all of a sudden I was driving along, I heard like, well, it felt like there was like a bit of resi well, not resistance, but it felt like I'd run over something, it's very minor. And now it's reading minus 30 degrees constantly on the diet, on the um, indicator there. So, might need a new front temperature sensor. Flew them down over, there's yeah. an MGS VR. It helps most Is of these were silver Does in it... colour when they were Rovers, so that's sort of the same thing. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Jesus Christ, <laughs> look at them all. That's crazy. Well, I, mean, I thought I had the wrong hotel, then I pulled up to this place. Yeah. Like, oh. oh, yeah. I'm definitely in the right place then. And we have the coolest thing on the left here. Oh, the Maestro Turbo. It is fantastic. And then, yes, we are there. Nice. Hell yes. In the light, she ain't looking too bad. Of course, she's going to be going back um, just to get all this stuff touched up. But yeah, no dents anymore on that side. Wheels looking ace. Front bump has been done. The other sill's been done, but not the best, so it's going back. Rear bump has been done, but it keeps reacting, so that's going back. It's just a few touch-ups, really, but damn, it looks nice. So let's get to making it actually look a bit less dusty. We are all clean at last, so we've obviously done the usual jazz. See my rituals in there. The best car air freshener ever. Looking nice on this, um, this nice gravel here, but here we are in the morning at about seven o'clock. It should look, does not look half bad to be honest with you, even though she's going back for some extra work. And um, the main thing that we found out today is you can see it's come undone and it's been chopped by the um, fan, which is absolutely fantastic. But you're not really bothered about that. We're more bothered about all of this stuff. So you've got this, I think this is like a rep of a, um, of this MGZT concept. It's got an epic wide body kit on it. It's a 260 as well. There's a V6 one chilling about somewhere. Another 260 monogram, same as Sally. One of the nicest um, Mark 275s I've seen with a premium front bumper, premium grill. All the jazz in there. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. You've got a ZS here. Super nice. I'll, I'll own one one day. Really, really love these. Piston head sticker. 180. So, you know, it's it goes somewhere and does things. You've got another ZSC, I think this is Monogram Celestial, I think. Something like that. 180. It's the facelift, so it's got these nice slats in there. Got vent things and stuff, I think. I don't know. Anyway, 
look at that thing. I think it's a Scotch car. It looks absolutely fantastic. What a beast. What a good car park. Because you've got the Aircross. The Aircross is a nice car though. Look at that spoiler on it. Amazing. Let's go see the others. It's like a car meet within a car meet within a car meet. So this is going to be like an ultra long video. TF. And um, he's facelifted it. I absolutely love these. I really miss my F. There's an R there. Rover. Um, really miss my one of these. I like the way he's done these exhausts as well in matte black. Looks super nice with the orange. I think orange was a um, a repro what is it? When they restarted production. This as well, this Rover 75 V8. So it's got a four speed automatic. This is a monogram, so it's like rare as out. Look at that inside there, absolutely amazing. It's even got power folds, I assume, because they're folded in. And who who wouldn't have power folds if and not fold them in? Absolutely stunning, look at that beast. Then you've got this, the car that needs no in introduction, which I will not name because you will not already know what it is. The SVR, look at that. Changes exhaust as well. It's got scorpion exhaust in it, so I bet that sounds absolutely wicked. Inside there, you see some borrowed stuff, and we've also got the thing that everybody loves to point out the Fiat Coupe Real Life. You can even see where it says Fiat on it. Brilliant, but oh, gosh damn, what a beast. Look at that spoiler as well. Changed all his badges and everything. This is what I love when people do the finer details and things. Look at that, big vents. Massive bonnet vents, you can even see a part of the engine there looking absolutely stunning. Then we've got this wonderful um, ZT, X Power Grey, naturally, they're one of the best colours for the ZT. One of the things I love about these is obviously they've got that little spoiler there where the plinth usually is. And this guy's got some MG7 rear lights, he's got a smiley plate as well, and I've got one of those soon, coming soon. But this is a beast, he's in that group. I love that group. Is it a manual? This is a manual. What a beast. God. What a good car park, eh? Got them all out. Very nice. Didn't expect to come up and see this in the morning. We almost forgot this though. The Maestro. Being as gorgeous as ever. Look at the red accenting in that gear knob. That's how you know things are getting serious. It's the Maestro Turbo. I think it's something like 505 made. There's a um, cherry bake well with the cherry picked off. Um, lots of those have been made, but you always pick the cherry off because sod the rest of that. Because you've got the turbo badge in, you've got the big body kit. You've even got the spoiler, you know, mine's got that, but it just hasn't got the top bit. Here's a 1.3 though. Look at that, what a beast. All the seats, the whole nine yards, even got the little aerial that mine has. Totally different beast though. Look at that, the Lucas Fogs as well. The Lucas Fogs. Friggin' hell, that is stunning. It's got the Unipart lights, which they all come with. But well, that is a good start to the day. So you'll join me later on in this vlog when we actually get there or when we're on our way, if the car doesn't explode. But very good so far. Very, very good. It's, just, it's worth it just for this. Look at these beasts. Take well there. Not sure why, but there we go. Here we are, we have made it, and um, we're alive. However, we're still minus 30 because of obviously what's happened. Sausage rolls on deck, twin cup holders on point. We're heading to Longbridge. Let's go. Or Cofton Park. So you can see there the very, um, very nicely um, named um, streets. Of course, you've got Ambassador Avenue, Windsor Ave, Austin Way, Princess Street. But then you've got obviously Austin Way, etc. You've got so much stuff. Look over there, there's even more of them. Even more over there. They're all over there. Is it enough? So we'll see you in a bit. So here we are again. We're meeting Dan and Alex, etc. And look at all this. You've got the BRM. We've already seen one on the way. Got absolutely loads of stuff in the car park. Nice V6, another V6, M45. It's got some right good stuff. Look at that Maestro with the thing, thing 
Jimmy Bob. Um, I'll whack this over near Lyndon's car. There they are. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> yeah, right, let's whack this next to Lyndon's mosaic and let's get to it. Monogram there as well. Beast. I'll just get ready. So here we are. Get all that. Jeez. Absolutely fantastic. Following that lovely um, princess estate, I think is a princess. I just got corrected by Katie, because she obviously knows more than I do about these cars. Sometimes. A marina, there you go, marina estate, thank you. See, you're learning though, you're learning fucking more than I am. Jesus, this is so good. I'm so excited. I don't know how I'm so excited. There we go. The queue wasn't that bad to be fair, but we are an hour early. <laughs> we are an hour <laughs> early. Like, she'll be like, someone will be like, Are you with the club? I'm with something. <laughs> I'm with the early club. There's another 75 right at the back of that. Oh, I'm so mm -hmm. I'm so excited. It's a good vlog, isn't it? We've already done two car parks, and now we've got the main show. And look at that, look at the. I, that was so nice with that. That marina and the, the cherry blossom and stuff, or whatever flower that is. Gosh damn. That's stunning. Stunning marina. Two words that are only uttered by weird car people and weird car Twitter and weird car YouTube. Absolute gangsters. So we'll see you in a, in a moment when we actually get in here. Cause we're still at minus 30, but there you are. Come around the corner and see it. It's like... Morning. Morning. Where are the 75s? I must park next Do you to think you. they have a vegan there? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> From the farm. <laughs> You'd be like, can you just go get the feed, please? Look at that 800. That is stunning. Look at it. God, that, I, I was like, we're really? We're, nobody else is gonna be here. And then everybody's here. Yeah. Last time. Yeah. Last time. 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 They're never ending, they will always turn up. Yeah, that was the first wave, because there's one, two, I think there's three or four more. It's just constant. <laughs> they will go into infinity, all the way over to the field, the BRM. Lewis outbid me on these, which is, I guess, I guess I fell, but there we are. We need to have a bid in truce, but look at that. The headlamp protectors, brilliant. Around the wonderful SD1 stand, lovely twin pan and Vitesse there. Um, get guy wins it, gave me a good look around her, absolutely stunning. That is the dream. Single pan in there, I think that's James's twin pan him, shout out. Also, that's the um, series one, and then we've got a Vanden Plaat EFI B Reg, so same year as our car. But yeah, look at all of these. Give you some finer detail shots, but this is in the vlog part. You've got the main part to come soon, Kaiser. Okay, but yeah, there you go. So we'll keep looking around. Met some brilliant people already. Let's keep going. It's 
been a very big show of force for the for the 75s and ZTs as usual. Absolutely fantastic. We followed that lovely um, marina estate in. So let's go have a look around more of them. Look at all of that. So we're just going to have a look at this section. Better look at that section, which I'll film a bit more of in a minute. And then we'll just casually jazz around. These 400s are incredibly underappreciated. I mean, look at that inside of that. It's a GSI, I think, by the sound of things and looks of things. It is a GSI. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. You should be getting the badges off the side of these the scrap yards. We've got this lovely 45 as well, facelift. So Mark II, based on the same chassis, 04 as well. So a lot more to come. So let's have a look at more of these highlights. Lovely ZR as well. Another ZR, another ZR, ZS. Really nice 75, no, ZT. That 75 is a very interesting colour. Lovely flying bananas here. Amazing. This is a monogram colour as well. You're a flying banana. It's a flying banana, MG Sport and Racing. Rare sticker. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Look at that. The inside as well, done really, really nicely. This has been done in like a carbon fibery thing. Looks great. And got some nice lights. Look at that. Now this is what this is what I love the finer details. This is amazing as well. Another one. This is Sunspot, I think. Yeah, Sunspot Yellow. Absolutely brilliant cars. This one's gone for more of a stock look, but gosh dang. Look at them both. Look amazing. Lovely ZTT there as well. Pretty cool sticker. Fantastic. Lovely 25. This would have looked good with one of one of Glenn's cars. His um, old English white cars. I absolutely love 25s. I had a very bad experience in one when I was a kid, but god damn, I absolutely love them. And the inside of there just looks fantastic. Amazing. They've all got these lovely badges on as well. All these earlier cars. You've got this lovely... Um, is it Fire Frost? He's even done all the dash in the pre-project drive wood. It looks fantastic with the red, doesn't it? 160, so it's V6. Even got these Xenon Plus lights in it. Looking great. Force Tune, it's not Tom's car, is it? Shout out Tom. <laughs> Shout out Force Tuning. Epic. Looking fantastic. I know I'm going to be saying fantastic a lot, but goddamn, these cars are amazing. AMG things in there. Looks amazing. Even got the chrome cap covers. Let's get my hands on some of those. MG7 rear lights. Wouldn't mind putting an exhaust like that on mine. Let me know if you agree. Probably a lot of you won't, but I don't. Well, I quite like the look of that, but we'll see. I'll have a think. Another Z. ZT. Got the MG Rover Group number plate. BA, I think that's Birmingham registered. Another ZT. Oh, that looks fantastic. That engine bay. Really, really nice. MG recommends Mobile One. Some really good stuff. Another ZS. Got some Doritos. It looks lovely, this. So he's done the inside of the disc as well. That's what I should have kind of had done to mine. Lovely twenty, lovely twenty six hundred. It's got your license plate though. <laughs> this is your license plate. This looks fantastic. This is what you got to shoot for with these SD ones. Look at that. That's a Vandom Pla as well. Twenty six hundred Vandom Pla. Super nice. The interior as well. It's not like a russet brown sort of look, isn't it? That steering wheel. The little Vandom Pla graphic glinting there. Great. Because we've got Quentin here. Chris has brought him. Brought him along, the former Furious driving car. Done absolute, absolutely brilliant. Look at that interior. And this lovely red roof. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. Yep, so she she's still here. Probably the best place it could have gone was obviously to Chris. Yeah, this they look, they look great. This, is, this car's all been done. Furious driving did it. Yeah, yeah Matt did it, yeah. See if I can see any of the older cars here. Tomcat there. I really missed my one of these. Mine was absolutely brilliant when it wasn't leaking. I think it just, it just vanished into thin air. We still don't know what happened to it, so if anyone knows, let me know. 
course. When we first came in 2019, we were parked about where Quentin is now. So you've even got more flying bananas over there. But they're not Sunspot Yellow, don't you get them? Yeah, look at this. Still going. There's another Vitesse there. Friggin' fantastic. So I'll keep having a good walk, gander around and walk. And I'll show you a bit more. Oh, there's a lovely 200 there. I'm not going to stop filming now. Lovely 200. It looks like tastefully done with some really nice wheels. Interiors from a BRM as well. You've got the knob. Good knob. 200. Big old exhaust. Looks great. Absolutely great. Would love one of those as a, a bit of a daily. Got this same colour as that um, 75 over there. If anyone wants to let me know what the colour is, I can't remember. Oh, it's a left hand drive. Is this from the UK? This from France. Oh, bless. Come all the way from France. This is what I love about this show. There's so many people coming from all over. Lovely 75 there as well. And fantastic. V6. Is it a two or a two and a half? Two and a half. Another 75 there, looking stunning. MGZT. Got an MGZT there with the dealer plates on it. Like the launch plates. Dying up lovely. Yeah, that's the um, his, the, the his and hers. Oh, this. This is from, I can't remember his name on Facebook. It's like the most unique one. It's just great. See, it doesn't matter what your taste is. It can never be matched or replicated. So do you and do whatever you want. Unleaded only, so don't be putting diesel in it. You got his Instagram on it. Shout out Boris the Rover. Epic. WRC 2001. He's even got the Rover Spot stickers. Brilliant. Front wheel drive, he's got all this on it. So he's done all these rallies. Showing up for the 75. Doing absolutely brilliant. Making us look brilliant by doing things and stuff. Yeah, it's looking great. She's got her badges, definitely. Then obviously you've got another 75 here, Mark II. Very late one, 55. It's one of, it would have been one of the ones, the last ones out of Longbridge. <laughs> Lovely interior. It's brilliant. The wheels look like they've been powder coated or sprayed. Brilliant stuff. Another ZT as well. you got Alex's Allegra there. trophies look at her she's absolutely lovely so nice like a fine watch just met up with him earlier at um, the Premier Inn here's another Allegro a very late one looking lovely it's a far door Allegro 3 and that's obviously the first gen what oh there's a mini there's a mini Peggy there Oh yeah. I'm recording by the way. I'm recording by the way if you want to shout yourself out. Oh, hi! It's Alex from Alex's Check Assets. Out. Check out my channel. Check out Alex's channel. Thank you. My camera battery is nearly dead. Is it? I was yeah. just like, I'm just going to get the phone out. May oh, as well. Yeah, I've got my phone's back up. Yeah. Right. Dan's car there. Absolutely yeah. lovely. Like a little bug. I love these cars. The build quality on these first gen Allegro's is, is fantastic. Mosaic there for sale. If you want. It is super nice. Mosaic's a special edition, isn't it? But there, I've got this in my catalogue for um, for my 800. You know that, that I'm Cars of Today catalogue? Morris, Morris Ital Matt. Matching fringe. Oh yeah, same area same as yours. <laughs> Look at that as well. No cars to come with it though. But look at that. Morris Ital, genuine floor map. Just great. So we'll continue having a bit of a bit more of a gander around. Look at all of this. More ZTs, more ZTs, ZS. The Allegro's look fantastic. Like little bugs. ZTT. This is sort of the front end. A BMW. You. Oh, it must be in the, the cabriolet. Oh yeah, that looks nice as well. R16 cab. Wait, divide is 16 divided by two eight. No. 
I thought you said Oh my gosh, that's the thing then. So you divide 16, it's an R8 cab. Magic, maths. Lovely Z ZS. No, it's an R8, isn't it? An R8. Cabriolet. R16. Divide it by two. Oh yeah, R. Yeah. I'm thinking too much into it. It's a 216 and it's a cabriolet, and that's why it has that plate. There we go. Thinking too much into that. I think that's Gemma's car. Looking great. I think it is. Looking good at the front. ZR 160. This is lovely. Look at that engine bay. K Series has never looked that good. Gosh damn. So you've got the cabriolet from the front, you've got dog barking, you've got even more. So we will go and have a look at another section, probably the minis. Minis never fail to disappoint, got the lovely lights on the front as well. A lot of people do that. Yeah, the interior is incredible on that. Look at that. I hope that um, one with the blue flake is here today. Austin Press, La Cooper Sport. Mini 35th anniversary, I think. Yeah, is it a Ro It looks like a Rover Mini or an Austin Mini. Just check the front because, of course, I'm not an expert. He's a Rover Mini. The Minis never fail to disappoint. Lovely little Mini there. Another little Mini there. Another. It's so tiny though. Like it comes up to my my stomach. Yeah, I still really want one as well. A Vanden Pla something. I can't remember what, what that is though. Anyone in the comments let me know what that is. <laughs> so he's got a mini pickup. Look at that inside there, the Vanden Plough wood. Looking brilliant. What? Yeah, it looks sick. And then what is it? So let's have a look. Is that a Prince? It is? Oh, okay. Oh, that was great. Is that Clubman? I think it is with the front. Another mini. They're just everywhere. I think this is a very late Austin Mini. Oh, look, there's a P5 coming in. It's like a, yeah, it's a P5, not a P. Look at that, fantastic. Obviously, there's a playground, not really going to be filming that because it'd be weird. More Mini. SV. Morris um, Minor. Really love these. I used to hate them long ago. Really long ago, I used to absolutely hate Morris Miners, but I absolutely love them now because you can appreciate things as you get older. The Wasley register with cars I don't know much about so educate me I wouldn't mind driving one as well someday and having a good review and being able to do a bit of research this fine fine cars with the wing mirrors got some wood look at that as well that is a really elaborate um, steering wheel um, emblem fantastic The quality you've even got this the book with it brilliant so much stuff here it's incredible another one now this is special look at that 50s i think 50s yep 58 late 50s Fantastic. Another one, it's in Austin Cambridge, isn't it? Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Very off period. Oh, I need some of them. <laughs> Fantastic, Austin Cambridge. Proper car, big old. Another Cambridge there. And then there's a Morris Minor Woody over here. Let's go have a look at that. Minor 1000. Absolutely love these. This is the ultimate piece of country living. I think it's just because it's got wood in it, I think it's from the country. Also, it's got the mini version of itself. Just so we can put it in the um, in the bath and it'll grow into a big one, sort of like them aliens you got when you were a kid. We've got one of them radios, haven't we? A bus radio like that. Not a, not a, not a good one, no. For this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it has a repo in it. Yeah. Mini City, light one, 88. A mini Woody. Look at this inside here. I oh, know, so it's lovely, isn't it? Wow, look at the front, Austin Mini. 
More mini. Even more mini. It's never ending mini, everybody. That MG over there is stunning. These MGs, it's a shame I don't know a lot about them. But it's the original TF. Looking great. This is stunning as well. Yeah. Look at the look at the the, the grill ornament. It's got the yeah yeah. I'm pretty sure. What the main machines? I don't know. I don't know too much about these. That's the problem. Ask me. Ask me. Yeah. Kate has been educated. That is stunning inside. Some real singer gazelle. I don't know much about these, unfortunately. Katie's being educated. But it looks great, doesn't it? Lovely little Austin. I think it's an Austin 7. Pre war, by the looks of it. Look at that. Automobile engineer. Stuff like that, really nice touches. The tires are so skinny. It's back when things were simpler. Obviously, we've got a Dolomite here, Triumph. The good old usual. Little, little windows that pop out, Dolomite interior. Look at that. Oh, look, it's Michael Edwards. Well, the Austin Cambridge. Yeah, it looks stunning on the back. See? British people didn't make crap cars. There's some right stunning stuff. Triumph Acclaim. So, based on a Honda, I think. Yeah, Triumph Acclaim. CD. Is it diesel? No, they did that. Lovely. It has a unipart alarm. It doesn't work. Look at that. Do you want me to open it for you, mate? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I'll have a look inside. See from the journey, yeah. Yeah. It looks lovely. It's a CD. Does that mean it's a diesel? No. No, I, yeah, I'm not too clued up on these right. ones, you well, see. They are. Yeah, so that's what she was like before, and that's what she's like now. Stunning. Yeah. It's the top of the range. Oh, right, so it's the luxury model. L, HL, HLS, and these. Uh, they've all got a little 1300 petrol engine, and that one's linked to a three speed. Mm. But as much as it looks like one, it isn't an automatic. Mm. You still change gear. You'd like change gear on that, yeah. Change, oh, clutchless like, manual. So you've just changed from low start and drive. Yeah. And overdrive. Every car should. Every car show makes me want all the cars on the field. Lovely P5B Coupe. Lovely Range Rover. Yeah, it's a P5B. Looks amazing, another one. Oh no, this is a P6. Should open the bonnet, Sheldon might be under it. 2200 TC. Look at that, that's one of those new badges that I think that they've had reproduced. These used to be an absolute bugger to find them. And this one's got a new one as well. In a really good condition badge. Oh, it's for sale. Ooh. 33,000 miles. It's fantastic. Look at the inside of that. I've got a set of them at home. It's got some of them chilling. I'm a modernization um, rover project. Another ZT. Lovely. Another ZT. T. A, a P4. 95. Looking fantastic. Look at that, December 63. Look at those seat belts. Inside of it, it's absolutely lovely, and you've got all the the dial, the um, the knobs and dials and all these things that just make it very, very nice. Look at the, the lines on that, fantastic. Yeah, the hubcaps look incredible. Such good condition. Got another P6 here. Sheldon's in the boot. Look at put... that. Oh my God. That is incredible. That is really good. That set me off that. Is it a, it's a 3500. It's a V8. Oh, this is what I love about these, though. You mess about with that all the time. Look at that, though. That wheel cover is insane. Incredible. Fantastic. You should know why automatic cards. 600 here. One of my favourites. 200 coupe here. What is it though? 
for me, that's probably a 218 or a 216. It's like a mini one in the back. What the heck? Yeah, look over there. This is very really cool. The miners there as well. Yeah, it is, it is stunning. The amount of effort that's going into here. Look at that. It's like a fine watch. This engine. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Austin of England badge. I've not seen one of them ever in person. Looks incredible. Brilliant car. Another minor, another mini. The 600 for me is one of the cars I've always, 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 always wanted. Automatic. Right colour interior. Fantastic. A45 here. It's like an earlier one. Oh no, it's an 03. Middle. Lovely 75. 04, so probably one of the last pre facelifts. Rover 100, another P4. Another P5 here. This one is just. They're all incredible, but yeah, oh, it looks insane. That there, oh wow, look at that. That is just stunning, isn't it? Look at how the windows work on the back. That's really, really cool. Paul has a white one, shout out to you, Paul. Amazing car. This is just incredible as well. Hopefully I'll see him here today. But there's another P4. And this 75, this is something else. Look at how incredible that looks, that colour. I think this is a monogram colour, I think. Serpents. Not skull caps, full bullet, mirrors. Automatic. I think it is. It might be, I don't know. The Rodder car as well. Oh, this is the Maestro Owners Club. Lovely Rodder car there. So that's the Bulgarian version of the Maestro. We ship the kits over. This is lovely as well, this turbo. An MG 2 litre um, Maestro. So what I always loved about these is the rear spoiler. I'm really glad mine came with one, even though it's not an MG. Just look at that lovely. I'm not sure if that's relevant, but there we go. If anyone knows if it is, let me know. Please. Oh, Pat, Patrick, I don't think he is. No, I couldn't make it. Everyone's calling him Pat Pat because he's changed his Facebook name. Montego. Another Montego. Look at this. With, I think it's a countryman with the big front down. That's a countryman as well. Fantastic. Oh, it's a DLX. Yeah, I know. That's what I love, though. Used. Good used car. This Montego, though, that's um, the same blue as Dan's car. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it on screen. Look at that, oh my gosh. It's like so nice. Wow. Nick's car, I think, Nick Prosser. I'll probably blur out his last name. That looks absolutely great. He's done a proper good job on this. One of the best 827s I think in the country, this. You've been overtaken. Good old boy. <laughs> Hello, chap. This Vitesse. Makes me want mine back out. This has been here before loads of times, I think. G Reg. So it's got the original Rover badge. And the Vitesse badge is slightly a bit a bit thingy. So usually these are a bit darker in the grey. I think it's been resprayed. The original, these um spoilers on these are quite quite fit. Yeah, I've got one of these as well, but I've got a later one though. But so he's got the Vitesse seats, these are the seats that I want. Lovely steering wheel, that's why I've swapped mine too, and it's a manual. See, these trip computers don't play up as much as the slim ones. But, yeah, this is incredible. Oh, 198k. Shows they can really keep up there. Original mats as well. Look at that. Shark fin alloys as well. Okay. Shark fin alloys, same as mine. Lovely conversation there about computers, as usual. So he's owned it since it was at 6,000 miles, it was next to the demonstrator, and he's taken it all the way to 198k. Brilliant, brilliant. Back when he used to own his own um, computer business. Another 800 there. 600 looking fab. Another 600 looking fab. That looks like a TI. It also has a Laguna splitter on it, so let's go have a look. Oh, he's got all the jazz, all the stuff. I think he is a TI by the looks of that. 
There is a 620 Ti here. It's got the double bumper, 600. It's still coming in. People still coming in. Brilliant. So, two litre turbo, T series. Yeah, I think it's a 1.6 PGMFI. Yeah, it's the Honda variant. Another one, another 600 looking fine. 600 S Reg, so this is this is a bit late. This lovely colour, I don't know what colour it is though. Another one. So we used to always see these in the in the in the lovely um, in the night fire in the gold all the time. Oh, we haven't looked at these maestros. Let's have a look through these maestros. So driving is believing, and I believe a lot about maestros. The front of that, so that's a really really rare grill. That. That is insanely rare, that grill. The two hella lights in it. If you see one of them snap it up because gosh damn, they are rare. Some of the Lovely A Ridge, very early. You know they're early by, <laughs> as well by the fact there's no repeater holes there. This one's a real legend. It's also painted them that white. I wouldn't mind doing that to my, to my own. It's fantastic. Look at that chrome. Lovely seats. All the badge as well. This is the HLE. That's a good license plate. Another Montego there. That looks like a Mayfair. It's another Maestro Turbo. Lovely Maestro here. A late one on a K plate. This lovely two litre electronic fuel injection Montego MG. So I'll say it all backwards. Fantastic. I mean, I love the real lights on these. It's like a Junior SD1 or a Junior 800. Fabulous. Lots of other stuff as well. <laughs> Caution, historic vehicle on top. We've already had a look around a lot of this. We have some more stuff to go through up here. So let's go have a look. Vanden Plow Allegro. Another Austin. I can't remember what it's called though, because I'm not that smart. I've seen this one at another show. See this lovely engine there. <laughs> fantastic you see the hydrogas spheres here as well it's great Vanden Platinum's Club looks great super early mini Austin Cooper Oh, a little Sherpa, oh, nice. You're a Sherpa. You're a Sherpa. That's what your hair looks like, like that. It's a fantastic set of 25s over there. Still got a bit more to go. I think that's an Austin 7, correct me if I'm wrong. Another lovely Morris Minor, or Phoebe. Austin 6, because it says. <laughs> Air wet raid oh. That's lovely. This is a pretty wall one, definitely. The interior on that. Incredible. Lovely pre-war car. Mind doing a bit more research into pre-war cars. 600, 25, 25. Bit posh 25 that. 25. Another lovely 75, another lovely 75. And an MG Magnate, I think. Magnet? Mag it's a Magnate. So we'll go and have a look around even more stuff. Two lovely Allegros. Yeah, there are so many cars. It's just, it's fantastic though, isn't it? Another R8 Cabriolet. Another lovely ZTT. They're, these these Allegros are really, really representative. It's an MG Magnate, I think. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah, the, you've got the, um, whatchamacallit, the linear dial, I think it is. Oh, it looks so good. Nice yeah, it's nice. Th these are from a 75, I think. 75 ZT. It looks great though. Proper car. Some always got some stuff going on. Nobody's nobody's um, jacked anything up yet. Will you be able to tell by? Yeah, if it was mine, you'd be able to tell by the by the wings. I I can tell exactly what it exactly. I don't know. I'm feeling it might be here. If it is, I'm gonna. I feel like they've just taken private planes. Yeah, I think so. Look at this, uh, this TFLE. So this is one of the like last of the line models when MG Motor Company 
MG Motor Limited start restarted production of the MG MGTF, the updated interior, those dials. Always wanted one of these. Bit of a dream car for me. Fantastic wheels as well. LE 500. Gosh, the, the, I just I really miss my F. We're trying to find it today, so let's see if we can. More TFs. That's of course a late one. Another LE 500. Lovely ZTT. It's taking the paint off it. It's chrome inside. Trophy MGF. So the hot MG VVC 1.8. Another MGF, it's like a later one with those wheels. MGTF, another MGTF. Q, oh look at that. Fantastic. That looks like one of the, um, look, is it one of the limited editions? No, it's not, but it looks like one. Oh, look at that leather interior. Detailed, eh? Looks great. More TFs, lots of TFs and Fs. Fantastic. I need to go around the R8s now and the 200s. 200 and 400 cool, let's go look. I've always wanted one of these. It's like a council estate GTI, as we call them. So, obviously this is based on the R8 platform. You have the 200, the 400, the 200 coupe, the 200 cabriolet. So it's a good old thing. So this is the facelift you can see by the dash. It's got the bubble dash, same dash as these. So I almost bought one of these. Um, I almost bought a blue one, but it turned out it wasn't the best, so I ended up leaving it. But some guy did buy it and he saved it, so that's brilliant. But these 200 VIs, oh my gosh, it is a 200 VI. Two of these 200 VIs here, both in lovely white. The grills on these are so tiny and short. Look at that. So small, look at the lights, so narrow. It's great, two door, four door. This is lovely as well. Another facelift. Oh, and the first the Mark One. Obviously without the grill. So basically that's just that's just that with that on. So you can see as well by the dash that it's a Mark One. Rover Coupe. Looks great. Really lovely. That is a then a 200, 216, 418. Oh, low. Lovely and low, abandoned Katie. Lovely and low R8 there. R8 Tora, there's hardly any of them left. So if nobody knew about this, these guys have essentially been on tour. They've all come all the way from Turkey in this wonderful 220 turbo. Got, they've obviously got the, the um, accessory to tow. The other half of one. Fantastic, look at that. All the way from Turkey. That's what makes this show so special though. Everybody just comes from all over the place. One common interest. Fantastic. Really, really super, super, super nice. Got the T-top as well. And then you've got this lovely sort of towing car. It's even got the wheel still on it and the dash. Someone will probably be after that dash. Brilliant. Bulgarian. Streetwise, lovely. Basie Belgium, I don't know. A country that begins with a B. Shout out Peter, brilliant car. Love this project, Dan, brilliant. This here is lovely as well. Another 200, very early one. Yeah, he's coming that instead of his Maestro. It's a bit more, I think it's, it's probably because it's more appropriate. Look at the back. Really nice early 214 SI. This is obviously the, the low Tauri. These Tauris look so nice, don't they? Is that a guy? I can't remember his name. He's like a wrestler or something. Another 25 there. Lovely coupe there in white. A 420 GSI. Very nice. Brilliant. Lovely badging. Even got these. The amount of effort that goes into these is absolutely crazy. Another lovely 400. Another lovely coupe, 25, absolutely brilliant looking 25. Immaculate looking thing. 214 SEI, what does that mean? Let me know in the comments what that means, because I don't know. It is for, for sale, oh, the bits of sale, and they're crossing them off as they're doing it. Streetwise, the king of, the king of all cars. These things look fantastic. Look at them, all the glory. 
Yeah, that's I think, yeah, it's Joe's car, and that's Joe there. Shout out Rover Joe, subscribe to him on YouTube. <laughs> oh, he subscribed to Rover Joe, no matter what, every video. More TFs. Fs. TF. This is at LE again. These colours are lovely. This is one of the ones from the hotel, I think. It's a magnate, isn't it? I swear it is. Yeah, I've, I've seen it before. I'm just being an idiot. I'm not Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. I'm just some guy with a camera. <laughs> I know nothing. He's like an encyclopedia of knowledge. I am an encyclopedia of nothingness. Lovely, look at the, the turnout for these. It's absolutely fantastic. Lone SD1 over there, we're gonna go see that. So many of them. Just so much to get around. I'll tell you, ooh, these proxies. Hey, I've got set of them, lovely. I love the brakes on these. These LEs, they just have incredible detail. I don't think I've ever known of an LE being scrapped. Let me know in the comments if you have. VVC, pretty sure it is, you can tell by the wheels. Fantastic F. Same interior as my one, but really, really good. And you can tell, obviously, it's a bit of a later model because it has the MG badging in the middle. Oh, no, it's the set. It is, yeah, that's had a new airbag. Oh, it's a more upmarket model. 180ZS there. The real classic. The brilliant. It's just sitting and chilling in the passenger seat. TF. Real, real summer car. Got some MG straights on this ZS. Looking fantastic with the black badge in. Look at that. ZR. My, the guilty pleasure of us all. A friend of mine years ago bought one of these and couldn't insure it. So he just sat in his garden for ages and he had to sell it. Very sad. But there we go. Yeah, lovely MGTF. I think that's a monogram. Yeah, it is a monogram. It's something. Trophy, 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 a lot of trophies going around, another trophy. Some wings. Some spoilers. Another TF, another TF. That TF's lovely, look at the colour on that. Fantastic colour combination. The interior. The wooden steering ones are quite red, quite sought after in these. Because you've got another ZR, another trophy, but this is from Trophy Cars. Now, these guys specialise in Fs and TFs. It's really, really cool. Look at how it's on the steering wheel as well. Super duper. Super nice. More and more and more MGs. <laughs> We're just looking for mine every time I see a British Racing Green one. I'm like, is that my one? Lovely MG uh, Maestro. It's, it's, yeah, it's a two litre. It's a two litre at EFI. With, with the straight spokes on it. Fantastic. These have got the pre project drive lights on it, so he's, he's had them from somewhere else. Oh, it's early. It is early. It's an early car. MG 51R PT. Another MG. Another ZT. Another ZT. Another ZT. Just love it there. It's just everywhere. It's fantastic seeing them. You see one on the street and you, you absolutely poop your pants over it. And then you um, you see them all here and you, you're cacking yourself. This is, this is quite good. What the light was it say? That's you. I want a Rover 100 cry. That's pretty sick. That is pretty funny. Shout out to them. That's a pretty good license, man. That's the best one I've seen all day. Obviously, I think that'll have like a K series swapping it. So like a 1.8T from a 75, knowing that. This is lovely. This 75. Later model. Really nice contemporary. A contemporary SE, I think. Looks like it. I need to take my car because I'm dying. I know, it's only got one. So this is Sally, one of, this is Sally, one of Glenn's former cars. The lovely monogram that we had a bit of a drive in. I wish we could have had it. Yeah, I wish we could have had it. If we'd had the space and the and the money and the time, definitely. But Glenn has done her a good service and the new owner is definitely keeping her well because that looks stunning. Another 75 there looking absolutely amazing. And he has the full chrome grill as well and the lights. It's real, real treat. Some real good stuff here today. I'm really pleased. Not like I wouldn't have been impressed as out anyway by anything. So many 75s in it. Yeah, because it's a show of force. We're taking over. <laughs> yeah, there, well, a lot of them will be. I, I've never understood why they did that bit plain. Yeah. That really does add to it there. Yeah, that looks that looks lovely. Look at how much room you've got. So big. Yeah. Look at that. 
the other one that I've got that's cheap. Yeah. It, the interior's vintage. Yeah. It's like you just feel. Yeah. But yeah. That, the, and, and that that there is now like the front seats are right back. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in the back of mine and feel a bit um, insecure yeah. about it now because <laughs> of how big and nice this one is. Stunning. That looks lovely. Yeah, it's really nice back here. Gosh. I don't care that it's odd, I need to look at the wheels. <laughs> Have a good stare at them. Looks great. Forty-five V six connoisseur wanted a forty-five wheel um, walnut steering wheel. There you go. If anybody has one, oh, it's an impression. Yes, we didn't know the impression came with those. Jazz wheelers every day. Oh, he's got the bigger bumper on it. It's a one point eight. Is it the bigger bumper you get? Is it? That looks nice. You can see as well. You don't usually notice this, but it's got the little slots in it, like the behind. So. Lovely. Tara. Another 180. So many of them. All the ZRs are all down here. Look at all the ZRs. See. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> 45. Some of the best wheels for the 45. What? Which MG? Oh, yeah, that's a monogram, isn't it? Is that from Ireland? Yeah, it looks like it is. This is nice. This is a the ZR. Look at the wheels. Look how nice they look. Five door. Look at these, look at these, look at these. Oh my, damn wheels. Crowd. Yeah, they be from, from somewhere else. I don't know, I don't know where the plates are, so. These wheels are stunning. Yeah, I know they look amazing, don't they? And then you've got more 45s. So this is a diesel 45, that's pretty, it's pretty rare. It's a really nice diesel 45 as well. That's just sold. She sold, I'm afraid, guys. I love it. I, I wish I had one of them for my car. This is a really nice custom sticker here, ZS 180 sticker. Oh, it's in the rain. Is it? I know. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't know, this is the same engine that was in the early release. <laughs> Obviously, you can fit that on, but it goes on back to front. <laughs> looks great though, doesn't it? That looks nice, look at that. Yeah. So this is a cam cover from um, one of the Chinese MGs. So it's put that on there, that was super nice. I have a pipe cross filter as well. Another ZS here, super clean. And another 45. And another 45. I think I know this 45. I think I know this, this, this 45, but... I wonder whose it is. He's probably going around here doing a... a more formalised style of what I'm doing. But, nonetheless, there he is. Our guy. Joseph Lloyd, ZS 180 again, freaking brilliant, so let's go have a look at the 260 section, I don't think that's a 260, the <laughs> Mini, I think it's more like a, a 59, the MG7 from Grill on that, god that's also nice, like X Power Grey is the best colour for these, this is super nice, these badges, 400. Oh, yeah. Is it supercharged? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. It is. That's really nice. Wish they'd come from the factory like that. It would have been an absolute smash hit. I think there were some engineering issues. That's menacing in the black. It's got halos fitted as well as xenons. This is lovely, this monogram. Stunning paint. Yeah, bittersweet. Um, 
What? It's a V8. Oh, I should have just looked at that. Yeah, it's a V8. Yeah, I, I, I knew anyway, you know, because... I know anyway, because I smelled, I smelled the washer fluid. I, like, no. I knew anyway, because the, the way the wind blew towards my face, I smelled it and it was V8. No, I'm joking. I just looked, looked at the badge. Another one. Of course, we're in the 260 section. There's going to be loads. This is epic. This is a proper, proper car. Look at this beast. I love that as well. So you usually have them in the middle there. This one is, yeah. This one's super rare, this one. Look at that. They're the, the um, really rare wheels. Games and optional wheels. What's she got? She's absolutely loaded. This is. Yeah, it's way better than the Rover Cushion I made when I was a kid. It was denim. <coughs> my. <coughs> my. No, it was just a. It was just a. Uh, like a denim pillow, which is stupid already. But then it had like a, it had it printed on it, like screen printed. That looks fabulous. I did pretty good. I did pretty good with my Rover pillow. I, do, I wish I had it still. Whoa, look at the inside of that, it's so clean. Fucking hell. That's really, that's just, just amazing. 260s. Supercharger, I think. Look at that. That's like five brake horsepower or something mental like that. Faster than mine. Fucking hell, look at these exhausts. He's got parking sensors though. <laughs> You'll need them. You probably just measure the um, the sound coming off the wall that you're reversing to. Look at that. That's not a wide kit fitted on it, I think. It's a wide one. I wonder where the wide one is that we saw. Tell you what you could do. Get like that gold to me if I was so good under that tree. That was great. Phoenix cars, I think that's that was just over the it's just in Birmingham that when well obviously I don't know. Let me know if I've got it wrong. taking the paint off the chrome as well which I think it looks a lot better like that another Tora ZR another 75 you know you hit you running into each other another ZR two TFs it's even got a steward dealer sticker it's this there that I'm really after looking at the streetwise that's good that streetwise is why I live on this planet to see streetwises He's got all the accessories on it. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. That's the dream. That's the dream car in the city. Goes on the front of the world, the big, the big kit. They were all option, um, like, accessory, in like an accessory pack, so that's quite good that that's all come together like that. Freaking brilliant. I love Streetwises. I'll own one one day. MG6 turbo. I think it's a 1.8 turbo. And we've got even more to go. We have so much to do. So many to see. Only one life. One sec. Oh no. You've got the whole thing in the back. We've got the alarms going off. Nobody's on axle stand yet. Or nobody's jacked up yet. So it's not, it's not officially... There was someone last time that got a wooden block and jacked it up. Look at that SD1. Van den Plaats, what? Deep place, so it's about two years younger than mine. Switch. Really? Smile for It's got Got all the alarms are going off now. It's all over. Look at them. Um, I think the motorsport I like, GTI. Yeah. The emo car. 
what our uh, the weather's getting like. There's FDHs there as well. The um, Japan spec R8 that got shipped back. The Emo car. Fantastic. This is like perfect. Look how nice this is. I think I follow her on this one. That's pretty epic. They all look sick, man. All of them look good. That's why I wanted one. It looks so nice. More Tauras, more R8s. One of the most popular cars Rover ever made. Yeah, the new ZS. So, oh, there's a, a um, watch my call it over there. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the SD one. Let's go see it. We need some inspiration. Not to throw ours in a scrapyard. Very early series too, I think this. Look at that. Opaline green. Oh, he's taking, so he's taking that out. And just bunged it. 3500. Very, very, very nice. No front fogs on it. Looks stunning. Absolutely lovely. This is amazing. This is why I was bought one of these, didn't I? The red one on Facebook. Wish I did now, but can't buy them all. The R8s are just amazing. Lovely 600. One of the nicest colours as well. Great car. More and more. P6 here as well. Knock knock Sheldon in the boot. Hello and welcome back to Class Prince. Need to edit something over that. This is Series 1, I think. V8. Oh my gosh, it's got the because it's a V8. Obviously, it's got the the extra grill there. And this lovely 800 coupe built by the Craftsman. Stunning. I love these. These are fantastic. Looks like a Sterling as well. No Vitesse. Didn't know they had that little aerial. There we are. Very nice. Look, look at the Allegro. It's an Allegro three. One of the later ones. That is a stunning colour. So no square steering wheel on this one. I know everybody bangs on about that, but there you go. Stunning colour, look at that. Gosh, I'd love to own one of those. Hey, look, it's an R8. <laughs> Beast, GTI. Yep. There you go. Beautiful ZT. ZS. So this is all the 75 and ZT Owners Club. So we've got all my cars there, obviously. All of this, just constant 75s and ZTs. Fantastic, lovely Tora. There's one that I spotted in Sheffield. There's only two of those. I think this is the car that I saw a few years back and I absolutely inspired me for mine. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I'll have to check my pictures. I've seen it if it is, but that's lovely. Raven Black. Then we've got ZT, 75 Tora, looking lovely. That 75 looks great with them wheels on it. I think that's um, Davy's car. Not too sure. Well, there we go. More of it. We need to cover this bit as well with all the, the metros. It's lovely. 75s again. Keep thinking of that. Oh. <clears throat> it's weird, it's, it's the only time I've ever been lost and been like, where's my car? Some really lovely 75s here. It's W Red, very, quite early. Two litre. Is it a diesel? Is it a um, V6? V6 maybe. Gosh, there's lots of stuff. just great stuff here. I've just had mine painted black. Good job, good shout. We keep looking around. V Reg. That is really rare. Oh, it's got that Neptune interior, I'm not going to film everybody. You've got the BRMs, hitting the BRMs. So many BRMs. The 75 guys have, have really smashed it this time, like oh, they do every time. Look at them all, fantastic. It's a sea of rovers and stuff, fantastic.
Yeah. Andrew Club smashed it as usual. J Reg. Lovely set. Are you expecting to see a short bumper there? A what? Is there? Oh my gosh. Does that try to sell me 800 bits? I'm going to end up bankrupt. Lovely monogram there. Lovely J Reg. Sad, that, sad to not see any short bumpers, but there was that lovely short bumper 8, 800 Vitesse over there. However, I'm really happy that we saw a lot of these Mark IIs. Two Vitesses, two um, Vitesse Coupes, and then another Sterling. Brilliant. Or the ZSs as well. Every time these show up, they show up in like the hundred millions. They're everywhere. There's, you see one BRM and there's like the rest of them they all follow each other it's like it's like a flock the brms migrate to longbridge in the in the spring they're a very rare beast i love it though. the details on them is incredible this paying homage to it lovely brm thingy there look at that as well the way that interior is the way that center tunnel is looking great there's another maestro look at that brm so many of them I love it. I love how that it's just such a, a show of force every time they turn up. A lone MG Z ZS, a beast in the wild, a 180, just chilling at the top of the hill. Yeah, what remains of Longbridge there? You've got the conference centre, and that's really about it. It's a bit massive shame. And there we are. These. Original TF there, MGB GT, another two litre, MG Maestro, is that midget? I think it is, no, it's an MGB. Look at them all. Oh, there's a 75. Let's go have a look at the 75. Is that from Summit Garages as well? That was great. Yes, look at the Maestro van. Look at his hopeless face. This is lovely. 75 is very early. W Edge Cowley model. Lovely crowns. Best ride ever. What? Yeah, that poor little Marie. The, the poison miner. Miner. Poor miner having to drive up the hill. She's got her eyes slightly closed. She's a bit depressed about it. I meant miner. Yeah, you meant miner, but you got to get everyone be fact checking that. <laughs> There's a lovely metro van there, a very early one. But they've all been caged in. There's a lovely princess there as well, and 75. They've caged the metros in because they know they're all the the metro is a is a ravenous beast. Nice early A ridge there. Oh, that looks sick. That's a 100 though, isn't it? Oh, a, a rover metro. Look at them all. There's a banger there. There's a there's a banger just over there. Look at them all. There's that one as well. Interesting. That's your car on the top of it. That's your car. Look at it. There's some right good stuff here. Hey. Yeah, they've caged the metros in. They're not allowed out of the cage. They're in their own section. Yeah, that was sick. That was amazing. I like how the doors have been done as well. That's so good. That's amazing. Look at that. Oh, look at these roof bars. Oh my gosh. It's like it looks like one. Of, it looks like one of those 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 Megazords from Home Bargains. No, I'm joking. It looks super nice. <laughs> look at the. Oh my gosh, he's got all the gear in the back. That that's that heritage badge collection. I think. Oh, it's even a Rover fire extinguisher. Really need to get my hands on one of those heritage badge collections. Look at the way the doors have been done. Fab. Absolutely great. It's a GSI. Is the other one a GSI? Yeah, they're both 114 GSIs. Lovely Vanden Plaza there. Um, sadly, there was one near me that got broken, which is pretty horrific, but I'm glad to see one. This was at the other show. Yeah, this is that. Um, British Cars 1985 group. Those guys are brilliant. But yeah, that was from there. That was another good little metro going. 
lovely 75. So have a look around these. Now that's nice. Lovely. It's the details, my friends. Princess. Dan who? Oh, Dan check. Oh, yeah, Dan. I, I'm going to go bring, bring it to him in a bit. Lovely princess. Don't know why people hate these. Look at how nice that rear wheel looks. Princess. Yeah, I know it's another one. Oh, those badges. Oh, look, that's you. Like, we'll say you. That's you. Look at that, that's you. Look at them all. What a fab show. Obviously, everybody's going now because it's getting a bit chilly. It's been friggin' amazing. Right, good set of cars here. Lovely princess. Don't know why people hate these. Look at how nice that rear wheel looks. Princess. Yeah, I know it's another one. Those badges. Oh, look, that's you. Like, we'll say you. That's you. Look at that, that's you. Look at them all. What a fab show. Obviously everybody's going now because it's getting a bit chilly. It's been friggin' amazing. Right, good set of cars here. So I think everybody's clearing out now. So, because it's time to go. I don't know where the exit is though, so I'll, I'll find it I guess. But yeah, if you look around and just take a look at all of these, it's starting to rain actually. So I guess that concludes it all. Yeah, what a friggin' fab day it's been. It's been so good best one of the best car shows ever really great really 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 great oh look you see you see it's nice to just share the road or the or something with something with this cars this car's um granddad look there's a lovely p5 p there oh let go look at that three and a half liter brilliant so i don't know where we're going Yeah, I don't watch cars. 